Have you ever thought about why the Mona Lisa is so famous? You might think that it's because Leonardo da Vinci put a lot of skill and time into the painting, or that it's because the Mona Lisa is an old masterwork. But there are a lot of paintings that have had a lot of skill and time put into them, or that are even older than the Mona Lisa. But for some strange reason, when you think of fine art, you think of the Mona Lisa. In 1910, the Mona Lisa was not that well known. Her worth as a piece of art was only known by a small circle of art lovers and enthusiasts. In fact, that year, the Mona Lisa was called only the second most famous painting in the Louvre. The most famous was a painting not even by da Vinci, the Siesta Madonna. But this all started to change on August 22, 1911, when Louis, a painter, walked into the room where the painting had been on display for the last five years, only to find that the painting was gone. Now, you might think that this was a very bad situation, but the theft turned out to be a very good thing for the painting, as during this time, the Mona Lisa went from being nearly completely unknown by the public to being the most famous painting in the world. Crowds turned up just to see the four hooks that used to suspend the painting, and when newspapers reported on the theft, they referred to the Mona Lisa as the most famous painting in the world. And since the internet did not exist, you couldn't check how the painting looked. That was left up to the imagination, which of course turned the Mona Lisa into a painting of infinite skill and value. Of course, the Mona Lisa is now back in the Louvre. But the way she was found was probably one of the most stupid ways possible. In the fall of 1913, two years after the Mona Lisa was stolen, an art dealer in Florence named Alfredo Giri placed an ad in some local newspapers, stating that he was looking for art objects of every sort. Soon he received a letter from a man stating that he was in possession of the stolen Mona Lisa. While at first Jiri thought that the man only had a copy of the painting, he still contacted Ginavro Pogri, the art director of the Uffizi Art Museum. Together, they convinced the thief that they had to see the Mona Lisa before deciding on a price. The men agreed to meet the next day in his hotel room. The next day, on the agreed upon time, Jiri, Poggi and the thief met in the latter's room, where after taking off the false bottom of his suitcase, the thief produced the Mona Lisa. In an act of quick thinking, Jiri said he would need to compare the painting with other works by Leonardo before promptly walking out with the painting. Soon after, the thief, whose real name was Vinza, was arrested. After being interviewed, Vince explained that his reason for stealing the painting was to return the Mona Lisa back to her native homeland, Italy. He and his two friends had stolen it by basically walking out of the Louvre with the Mona Lisa stuffed down his smock. After that, the rest is history. In fact, one of the comments on Vox's YouTube video puts it perfectly. The Mona Lisa is the Kim Kardashian of the art world, famous because she's famous. Thank you very much for watching, these videos take a very long time to do, so consider watching this video on why the channel tunnel could have been built a hundred years earlier. Anyway, see you guys next video.